Hi everyone, in this video, we're going to be looking at a brand new way of declaring variables, and that is declaring variables using the const keyword. So let's get started. So the const keyword is short for constant variables, and these are part of the set of changes that are happening all across the board in JavaScript due to the improvements proposed by ECMAScript 2015, or what all the cool kids have been calling for a long time, ES6. And what these variables allow you to do is that any constant variable you declare, these can't be reassigned. They, once you use them, they're going to stay that way throughout the lifetime of your application. And here's what it basically looks like. It's used very similar to declaring variables using the var or let keyword. See here I have an example where I'm declaring a variable called foo using the const keyword and initializing the word hello. Now this is an important detail. With var or let, you can just declare a variable and initialize it much later in your code. With the const keyword, when you're declaring a constant variable, you must declare and initialize all in the same line. If you don't do that, the browser does an error. But getting back to what we're doing here, we have a variable called foo, it declares a constant, and the way you use it is just like any variable. I you know, have a function here called some function, and when the function is called, I'm just printing the value of foo to my screen, in which case the word hello would be displayed. So the way you use const is just like you use variables for probably your entire existence in, in the JavaScript universe. But there are some subtle details that set it apart, some obvious, some not so obvious. And so let's look at what those look like. So its primary use case is to keep variables that you want to not have change throughout your lifetime of your application. So in this case, I have a variable called simple pi, and I'm having it declared to 3.14. Now, if I had it declared using var or let, I can simply reassign it later. I can just do simple pi equals, in this case, something you know, more complex, 3.14159. But by declaring a variable as const, I can no longer reassign the value it is assigned to. So this would throw an error. The, throughout the entire application, simple pi will always, always equal 3.14. And the advantage of this is, is that for more complex applications, this really protects you from accidentally overriding a variable, or worse, having some part of your code accidentally override a variable. So it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of like a, a seatbelt, if you will, for more complex situations. Now, that is only the primary use case. You also can't do other more sneaky things to try to get around that limitation. So once you have a variable declared, you can't even redeclare it. So in this case, I have a variable called my name, also declares a const, and it's set to Krupa. And you can't redeclare it. You can't have var, let, or even another const version of the exact same variable. The variable names you use have to stay unique throughout your entire application. You can't actually have uh, my name as a function or as something else that is also going to exist in the same scope, at least, that your code is currently paying attention to. So the thing is, you can also initialize your constant variables, to not just simple values, but also put objects in here. So in this case, I have uh, an object called spec, who has, who has two properties, ID and speed, which their own values, in this case, Intel MMX and 233 megahertz, respectively. And the thing is, you can easily have those be assigned also, but there is one quirk about the way the constant variables work. Well, you can't change what the, what the spec object or spec variable in this case is pointing to. You can easily change the properties of an object without any, any kind of warning being thrown. So in this case, you know, if I were to say const spec equals foo, that would throw an error because I'm reassigning what spec is pointing to. But in this case, because I'm changing the property of a value, in this case, spec.speed equals 300 megahertz, that is totally cool. You can totally do that. And that's one of those things that if you think that you're gonna get perfect you know, immutability, which is, the way of base, which is the way of saying that you cannot change something, the const keyword gets you far, but not completely far enough if you want to prevent any sort of modification to the sub properties an object might be, might be containing. And the last little detail to look at about the const variable is that it supports block scoping. See, you know, if you're familiar with scoping, you know the var keyword is primarily based on function scope. It's global or local to whatever function it is currently declared in, but the const keyword is actually, you know, respects block scoping, kind of like the let keyword. So in this case, I'm inside an if block, and I declare a variable called x, const x, and it said equal to Mega Man, after Mega Man x, one of the greatest games of all time. And if I print that value out, you see Mega Man. If I print the value of x out just outside of the outside of the if block, but still within the function scope, I'll get undefined because a variable declared in block scoping is only local 
to that particular block. If I wanted to have alert x also show Mega Man, I should probably replace const with var, and that will get the that will get the job done. So the const keyword isn't really a game changer in how it's going to change how you write your applications. But if you're familiar with the idea of a constant variable, especially in other languages that you might have used, you know that there are some nice qualities to it. You get the ability to declare variables that you know you don't want to change and have some level of confidence that what you have declared will stay that way throughout the lifetime of your application. And that's the small kind of peace of mind that little improvements like this kind of add, which in aggregate might lead to something that is pretty meaningful, which is what you will see in the whole host of changes proposed as part of the new ECMAScript you know, 2015 or ES6 set of changes. And of course, because it's extremely brand new, be sure to look at the browser compatibility table to know which browsers support, like, you know, in this case, the const keyword and which browsers do not, and when you can safely use it in your mainstream applications without worrying about people seeing it or not seeing it. And so if you want to learn more, go to croup.com, whole host of articles on this and many other topics. If you need any help, post in the forums at forum.croup.com, and you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm pretty much all over the place with this Find me, contact me, and be happy to get back to you. And of course, if you found this very interesting, I read a lot of books. And so there's probably a book that covers this particular topic as well in much greater detail along with other topics. So just go to croup.com or click here where it says click here. And you'll see the whole host of things that I'm currently writing that you can buy in Kindle or paperback editions. And with that, I will see you guys later.